And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your friend, Cheap Ludes. How are you doing? Good morning. We have glitch packs in NBA 2K23, my team. I'll be honest, did not expect this. Like I said yesterday, like I truly did not expect glitch packs. Like this was kind of the last thing I expected, especially for a Tuesday drop. I have been predicting we were going to get glitch cards for a little while, but definitely did not think that was going to be on a Tuesday set for sure. Either way, I mean, cool, I guess. If this is what we're getting on Tuesday, you know the Friday set is about to be cracked, Dude, like, for sure. Odds are pitiful, as always. 10,500 per pack. Um, we got Glitch Shakim Olajuwon, who... Yeah, he has Busevich's release, which actually, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be, like, Pau Gasol or Beverly or something, but that is what they gave uh, Big Country Reeves, which usually he shares some sigs with Hakeem, too. It seems like they're taking the guys like it used to be Bryant, Big Country Reeves, Gasol, Hakeem. They all used to have kind of, if not the same jump shot, very similar jump shots. It looks like they're splitting them all up this year. Like Wilton, Bill Russell no longer have the same jump shot. So it's like, it's kind of cool, I guess. But Hakeem looks ridiculous. Now, that being said, thankfully, you know, if you watched my preview video yesterday, I talked about how like he could be had the potential to be the most broken card of all time but thankfully they didn't make him that broken like most of his shooting badges are silver and he has like bronze limitless so he's very very good but he's nowhere near uh broken he does have like good post badges and stuff too and there's badges you can add to him as well so you can't give him quick first step which is going to be an issue he does have 85 speed for sure so there's issues with him whatever then we got michael porter jr michael porter jr's fire too Honestly, not going to go into too much detail. Then we got Athleticism, Glitch, JJ Reddick. Oh, yeah. We got four white dudes at the bottom. <laughs> Sick, dude. Like, they really did this. Like, look at this squad. We got Athletic, JJ Reddick, Defense, Fournier, Defense, Gorin, and then Athletic, Joe Ingles. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyways, like I said, the odds are bad. They have these that you can buy for 15K, so I'm wondering if there's, like, a little lock-in action. I don't know, though. We'll check that out after the uh, pack opening proper. You know what I mean? So let's see what we got going on here. The odds are, like I said, pretty bad. I got Michael Doliak and James Johnson. Sick. That's pretty, it's pretty stacked crew already. We're already looking pretty good. We're coming out on top 100%. I should get at least a couple of the Evo guys, I would assume. Yeah, here's one, I think, I hope. Joe Ingles. Hell yeah. His jump shot is easy to green, but it looks so dusty. Oh, my word. It really does. All right, no shakes. Mark Madsen and Spud Webb. And surprisingly, I didn't have either of those guys. Four packs in. We got really nothing to show for it except for one single Joe Ingles. Bars. Um, Rodney Rogers and Zach Randolph. I'm pretty sure I had both of those. The fact of the matter is with these packs, though, is they're 10,500. So they're a little bit more on the worth it side of things as far as like if you want to pull a couple of them but i don't see it being really worth it i got goran Dragic. really i mean the odds aren't very good you have a seven percent chance to get an amethyst this includes you know base set or eerie players um and a two percent chance for a diamond so you're not exactly you know stacking out here to get michael porter jr granted if you get a diamond you know what it is it's still you're not really holding it down i got bonzi wells out here so I'm going to open a pretty good amount of packs today. Nothing crazy, but, you know, I'm hoping to get at least one shake at some point, but it's not looking too likely at this current moment, but it's all good. You know, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm okay. Mentally. Am I? <laughs> yeah, Bulls Ben Wallace, dude. Sick. Oh, I already had Bulls Ben Wallace. Didn't even know. Had no idea. I remember when we signed ben wallace i was in i think i had just started middle school roughly no no daryl dawkins you couldn't even give me one of the evo players Nah, we signed ben wallace i think i was in high school actually and i remember doesn't matter i guess that's like irrelevant but i remember when we signed ben wallace and i was so gassed for no reason oh here we go like, there's no reason I should have been gassed about this Ben Wallace signing. <laughs> like, we had Ben Gordon, Kirk Heinrich. Like, our team was kind of trash. But here I am just absolutely stoked on this Ben Wallace signing for no reason. Like, he didn't even improve our team all that much. 
<laughs> oh no, dude. Oh my god, it Doomars, dude. Are you serious? Oh no, man. Come on, dude. Oh, that hurts. It's not even Jake. He's probably more expensive than JJ Reddick, though. Honestly, that's probably a good thing. It's probably a W, if I'm being honest. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not looking good for me out here. I think I probably just need to quit, like, relatively soon. I had one million fifty yeah i had one million fifty thousand and now i'm down to 880 so 130k worth of packs and i haven't made depending what dumar is going for i really haven't made any mt back i got mo lucas out here i'm getting every card but the cards from the set probably gonna open down a few more and just hopefully i can pull something but it's not looking too good i have been on just a catastrophic losing streak on packs recently i got goran Dragic. It's inter it's going to be interesting to look at their actual Evo requirements to depend like because that really determines if they're worth it or not. Steel Evo requirements. I just I got Evan 48, so I got all three of them at this point. Like sick, Shaka Brad, super sick. Like I like it. I'm not gonna get anything. Here we go. I'm just gonna flip it. Oh my god. There's JJ Reddick. I would have to assume. Yeah, that's definitely JJ Reddick. That could be no one else but JJ Reddick. It has to be. So pretty much I got everyone from the set except the two cards that would benefit my team in any way, shape, or form. So that's fun. Um, as to be expected, realistically. JJ Reddick's actually looking pretty good. No, not Dwayne Casey. Wait, what? So they, they don't have like a straight up one? Wait, that's stupid. That's stupid. Let me send them to the auctions. I want to see what's up with the exchanges. All right, we're going to open a few more packs. Hopefully I get lucky. I don't think I will. I usually like to bang through about 200K during these pack openings. I got Mark Bryant and Isaiah Ryder, dude. Isaiah Ryder's kind of tight, though. Like, he's he's kind of a good gold. You could go into triple threat on all-star difficulty. You can kind of hoop with Isaiah Ryder and Charlie Ward, like, straight up. That's why I like them, I think. I got Evan Fournier. These cards should be cheap, though. Like, I can't imagine they're going to be, like, massively cheap. But they should be relatively cheap, for sure. There we go. Something... I don't know. <laughs> another Amethyst. I got Steven Jackson, I guess. That's cool. This is another JJ Reddick. <laughs> JJ Reddick should be like 10,000 MT. Um, that being said, his jump shot is nice. Like, and he's not the greatest movement wise, but he has decent dribble sigs. He's got like gold limitless and stuff. And he's got. Can you get clamps? He can't get clamps. That's unfortunate. 84 perimeter defense isn't half bad, though. JJ Reddick's actually not terrible. The 95 driving dunk, though, is pretty funny. Honestly, <laughs> JJ Reddick might be these. Like, I I'll, t I'll definitely test him out for sure. I'm going to open two more packs and we'll call it a day because uh, it's getting a little desolate out here, unfortunately, which is a bummer. There we go. Another JJ Reddick. Hold that. Nope. That is. Is that, is that the homie Michael Porter Jr.? Round of applause. Let's go. I might not even keep him, to be honest, but. Michael Porter Jr. is in the house. His jump shot is super clean, by the way. This is what's up. It's a holographic Michael Porter Jr. Yo, oh my God. Hold on. Let me do YouTuber voice for a second. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I hate that so much, dude. Um, Yeah, Michael Porter Jr. He looks all right. It doesn't look like you move very well, but everything else is looking kind of right on him, dude. Yeah, the badge count's nice, too. Yeah, Michael Porter might have to be my power forward. He's not starting over Sean Kemp, though. Well, he might, actually. Sean Kemp kind of pisses me off. Last pack, Magic. Let's see if we can get Hakeem. Probably not. You know, it's good to go into these pack openings with absolutely zero hope that you're going to... Vernon Maxwell! Oh, I probably should have sold that. It's probably worth it. Worth something. Anyways, um, it's good to go into these pack openings with no hope whatsoever. So, Joe Ingles should be cheap, relatively, like... Damn, I mean, there's not even that many Joe Ingles out here. I mean, realistically, it's like 10,000 for Joe Ingles. That's kind of crazy. Drogic, I mean, Drogic's about 10K. I mean, they'll fall off. Like, they'll be closer to probably 5 or 6K, I would assume. But they did raise them to rubies, so they're actually going to be harder to pull. So I actually think there's going to be less of them. The odds weren't really raised to justify them, if that makes sense. So I actually think that we're going to be seeing a lot less of these than we would on other cards. So I'm just gonna put them up for 10K. Hopefully I can get 10K now and make some MT back. Spent about 250K 
and pulled Michael Porter Jr., which is better. I'm not going to complain about that because people are going to go like the entire pack opening with only pulling JJ Reddicks out here. So JJ Reddick is kind of an interesting one as well. Like, I don't know what his price is going to settle at. I would assume it's going to be cheap, though. Like, at the end of the day, I, I would assume probably not that much more expensive than the actual uh, Ruby guys. I, I would say probably around 10K at the absolute most, honestly. Like, yeah, there's no way it's going to be more expensive than this. I would assume, like, 10. Absolute maximum, like, 12K. And JJ Reddick's good. I'm going to do a market video later, so I'll talk about him more in depth. Then we got Michael Porter Jr., who if he he might be a buyout but he might not because like he might be on one of those things that like cat was on where he was initially a buyout and then like two days went by and then all of a sudden he's like 150k like that's very possible for michael porter jr so I, i'm not actually sure yeah hakeem's gonna be a little expensive there's a whole seven of them up at this moment two three four five six seven wow yeah there's seven it's been 15 minutes since the packs dropped and there's seven of them that's wild absolute insanity now let me take a look here because i'm i'm kind of curious right so there's no real reason to up yeah there's no like cade cunningham to my knowledge which is probably a good thing but i do want to see what's up with the evos so let's take a look um joe ingles 150 points 40 dunks four dunks in a single game how am I supposed to do this? My man has a 45 driving dunk. <laughs> what? Dude, come on, man. Let me check his dunk tendency, I guess. But, like, dude, what? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, well, he ought to be cheap because this should be near impossible, to be honest. Um, he has a 65 driving dunk tendency. Dude, how am I supposed to get four dunks in a single game with Joe Ingles with a 45 driving dunk? How am I supposed to do this? Okay, well, that should be really difficult. I mean, he gets way better. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, I can imagine the rest of them are pretty rough. Yep, here's Goran Dragic, get steals. He has a 56 steal, so I got to get 40 steals with a dude with a 56 steal um that should be great uh it should be super cool these are awful um i can't even tell you like i said he's got a 40 on ball steal tendency with a 60 pass intercept um i gotta get three steals in a single game okay impossible um evan fournier has a 58 steal i gotta get three steals okay so i won't be <laughs> i won't be doing any of these dude none of these are worth it don't do them wow that's trash i'm so disappointed right now i'm sure people are mad about these this sucks yeah these are trash i don't know I would say there's really no point to opening these packs. Um, I would just, if you want a, a good shooting guard, like JJ Redick looks really good. Um, these cards would be good if the Evo requirements weren't absolutely insane. So there's no point. Joe Ingles has kind of a bum jump shot. It's easy to green, like I said, but it's ugly, kind of weird to time. Also, his requirements are a bordering on impossible, if I'm being honest. Like, so he's not really worth picking up. Goran Dragic uh, honestly looked like a very good budget point guard and could have been a very good budget card. But at the end of the day, he's not worth picking up because his requirements are going to be psychotically hard. Evan Fournier, I mean, you could play lanes with him, so it's going to be a little bit easier, I think, than Dragic. But at the end of the day, he, is he better than like Benedict Mathurin? I don't, I don't think so, honestly. And it's the same amount of steals. So it's like... <laughs> Who cares? Um, just go pick up Spreewell. It'd be like way cheaper and way better. So don't open these packs. Uh, you're probably not going to pull Hakeem or Michael Porter Jr. So I don't think it's necessarily worth it either way. As always, it's been your boy, Cheap Ludes. I will see you later. Unlimited is going to be a sweat fest. We also got some new moments and stuff. It's cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care at this moment. So have a good day.